coolest idea I had. Laser cutters, they're really cool and they can do things like helping you make paper or planes. Heck, they can even engrave wieners. Here's the thing, is that it etches paint off. And I started thinking, with these diode lasers, they're really lightweight, like super lightweight. Lightweight enough to move around and throw on top of things like cars. I wonder if they would etch car paint. I don't think my wife's gonna like this. So what we're gonna do today is tattoo your car. Gotta love lasers. Pew, 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 pew. Decals, final decals, decals, decals. A few of you had issues with me saying decals, decals. Gotta say it the American way. So instead of just being a wimp and going for the temporary tattoo of a decal on your car, real cars get tattoos. None of this temporary decal BS. In true Ben fashion, we are going to toss the laser onto the car and start cutting. Everybody's first tattoo, at least the one they do, is really any good. This is no exception. So I bumped the laser and it came out of alignment and it ended up sort of doubling up and not being able to do it properly. So um, went off to the side, did a couple of calibration patterns, and now I think I have this dialed in and I know what I need to do for car paint. Ben, what is going on with the car? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm still married. On with the science. Not all science experiments are successful. Mm, this is one of them. However, we've learned a few things. When I've dialed in the feeds and speeds, I figured out exactly what needs to be done. So we're gonna get onto on shape in the next episode and make a mount for the laser so that we can mount it to the car, make sure it doesn't get bumped and we don't get the ugly tattoo. If this works out, it's gonna be so freaking cool. I'm going to design something in on shape that will be the new feet for the laser. And effectively they're gonna be either a suction cup or they're gonna be something that I can apply tape to that I can apply to a door. And there'll just be two points to just sort of level it out in one, one axis. Then I'm going to take the two bottom pieces and swing it in until I've got that and move the laser head back and forth until I actually get the, the height that I need. And then I'm going to tattoo a car. I've sacrificed the hood of my car for something really ugly, but I've learned a few lessons and I think I can do this properly now. Right. While editing, I realized that this is an incomplete project and I am working on it, but there are going to be some comments. And the first comments I can see are, but what happens with the exposed metal? I'll throw a clear coat or something over the top of this once it's done so that it'll look nice and it will work fine. So we'll protect the metal. So let's not go into that whole nuance thing. The other thing is, is that when we start playing with powers and everything, we are gonna be able to get some gradients and some of the new lasers that are coming out might even be able to tint the metal by tempering it. And that would be so freaking cool. This is a project in development and more videos are gonna come out. So stay tuned, hit subscribe and all the other, you know, stuff. If you happen to live in Calgary, I want you to leave a text down below, especially if you own your own car and you want your car tattooed. How about we do that? Get a hold of me and just leave a comment and I'll try to reach out to you as soon as possible or you can go into the about page of this YouTube channel, be able to find my email and then send me a message. And maybe we can start tattooing cars. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs>